Um, Excellent. Yes, perfect. All right. Nuclear throne. Cool. Uh, make sure we're live on YouTube, Max. And cool, we're good. Um, Oh, hey. Oh, hi. What's up, Internet? Hey, how that. you we're, doing? We're only eight minutes late. Oh, good for us. New this is record. early. Uh, what's up? We're going to play a little bit of a Nuclear Throne together, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm Nick Robinson. This is Tara Long. I hope you know us by now. Hopefully. But if not, we are them. We are them. They're us. Yes. Um, we got uh, early access to this game, so thanks to Vlambeer for letting us do that. Yeah, letting us stream a little bit of it. Uh, actually, if you go on Steam, uh, anyone can, can pay a little bit. They actually started doing a cool new thing where you can pay through uh, Twitch and buy a copy of the game, and really? you get an early access copy, and you get subscribed to their Twitch channel, which wow. is a pretty there you go. cool idea. Support them. So kind of what's cool about Nuclear Throne is that they have live-streamed the entire process of this game's development yes. every Tuesday and Thursday, which is very unusually transparent. Um, yeah, and it's... Pro I, th I, I know I talked to uh, Rami, one of the guys from Vlambeer, at, I can't remember if it was PAX or E3 last year, but... Mm -hmm. I think this. He said this game was just sort of made in a game jam, and then they sort of began. started expanding it and letting people uh, sort of look in on the development process. Mm -hmm. I'm probably gonna suck at this game. I did play it a little bit back then, and it was really hard. Dude, it's it's hard. It's the kind it's of game where game. you die a lot. Yeah, they uh, they kind of coined the term roguelike like to describe it, and that it has roguelike characteristics, but is not strictly speaking a roguelike. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, Vlambeer is in the chat also, so oh, if you guys have questions about the game, uh, feel free to put your questions in the chat, Yeah, and I will try to read them off, and maybe they will answer That's them. Cool. So this is probably my, I'm going to say, third or fourth time playing. I streamed really? a little bit of it a couple weekends what ago on my Twitter. I know, three or four whole full attempts. Um, but I, because I'm a scrub, have been playing with the uh, Xbox 360 controller, mm. not the mouse and keyboard. So explain this game to people. So this you is a game. Clearly, intimately familiar with. Clearly, it. I'm an expert. I've made it all the way to level three. <laughs> um, so this is a game that is sort of a top-down arena-based shooter, but they're randomly generated arenas with somewhat randomly generated enemy sets. 
uh, an experience system with randomly generated perks for you to choose from, uh, randomly spawning weapons. There's a, probably an adjective you're hearing over and over, but basically the idea is to get as far as possible, uh, ostensibly to get to some sort of nuclear throne that I have not yet encountered. Um, and so you're just going around and killing literally everything inside. Yep, shoot all the things and once they're dead, then you beat the level and it's on to the next one. Uh, I got this little semi-automatic machine gun. Let me get this crossbow real quick. Um, now, you've played this on a gamepad before. Do you think it's easier on mouse and keyboard? I can't tell. I mean, I've... I've it seems like the type of game that would be almost easier on a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I certainly have settled in pretty quickly. This feels pretty good. Like stuff, like weapons that require aiming like that, like precision aiming usually seem to be a little yeah, better. Yeah, I think so. I leveled up. Well, I, I'm gonna be playing on gamepad with you in yes. a little bit, so. So recently, I think it was at PAX East, they launched co-op support for the game, which I haven't messed with at all, but I am pretty optimistic about. Uh, oh, he's burrowing. Get away from me, nerd. And sweet. Um, so this is coming out, according to Blambear in the chat, this yeah. is coming out on PC, Mac, Linux, and PS3, yes. PS Vita, and PS4 for sure. It's dope. God, yeah, this, I say this every like month or two about a game that I think will sell me on a Vita. Um, but this it seems like such a good fit. Um, so here's the perk system. Uh, whenever you level up, you can sort of choose between four randomly generated perks. I don't really have any laser weapons right now. Let's go with better accuracy since I'm using a mouse anyway. Might as well get full precision. Oh yeah. Um, I guess we're in a desert right now? We are. The first world is some sort of wasteland. I think the entire game universe is sort of a, sort of a wasteland. Um, but you're sort of, in addition to trying to not die and not get hit, you're picking up these little green radioactive, ah, uh, sort of a mini boss there. Uh, these radioactive looking things that are what level you up, get you experience, and all that junk. Got um. it. Oh, man. Hey. So the, I wonder, do you know how many levels you have to get to before you reach the throne? I don't know. I mean, I, I saw an article recently about uh, they, in the most recent update, they added some later worlds that are just, Bonkers. I've kept myself pretty spoiler free on all that junk. Um, but it's cool because it's. Oh, okay. This is why. Uh, so, back when I saw this game, it was called Wasteland Kings. Yes. Which is why it took me a second to recognize that this is the game you were talking about when you told me we were going to stream this. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they had to change the name because of Wasteland 2. Huh. Which is. Funny. You know what? I'm going to go out and, on a limb and say that they're both great names. Yeah. Wasteland Kings is awesome name. Nuclear yeah. Throne, maybe even a better name. So yeah, look at this. You've got your uh, indie hipster cred character, Young Venus, of Venus Patrol fame. Uh, Twitter celebrity nice. Young Venus over here. Be I'm sure triangle. there's tons of little nods here and there. You are correct. Yeah, kill that cactus. Get yeah. it. I wasted two bullets on it too. So each character has a um, a sort of alternate fire that varies. So like Young Venus is, is that I can shoot twice at once. When I right click, so it uses up twice as much ammo, but also, jeez, <laughs> uh, does twice as much damage. Um, so like the shotgun here is enough to oh, yeah. kill anyone, I but like I can that. shoot twice with it, which isn't necessarily worth doing at oh, this I point hate in the game. those tiny bugs. They are so uh, bad. <laughs> like it's it's the most embarrassing way to die in they nuclear come out of those guys, sure. right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Ugh. It's it is the worst way to lose. Um, yeah, I'd, you know what Vlambeer is really good at is a good feeling shotgun in a video game. They are excellent at yeah. that. Yeah, shotguns are always my gun of choice. <laughs> Do you like that uh, sort of air raid siren? Like, that oh, plays? the air horn? Yeah, yes. whenever, new, or whenever a young it's Venus like a rap starts a song. level. It's like we're playing a rap song. It is. Oh crap, you're gonna... Uh, no, everything's great. So, when, what are you if you about? get... I guess you have a health bar at the top, yeah, but, okay. but you only have one life, and that's it? Yes, yeah. Very uh, Spelunky-esque in that regard. It's interesting, because it's like, it is a dual joystick shooter, sort of, but with permadeath randomly generated levels and some other jazz. Um, ah, just emptying on fools here. And it's four player, right? It, so I think it's up to two right now, and that was a very recent addition. It was single player only up until last month. Oh, They're really? talking about maybe doing four player in the future. 
Um, is, is the last I heard, at least. Um, Somebody said, tell Nick to press B on the keyboard. You won't be disappointed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There you go. No. no. Why did you listen, tell him? Listen. That's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? I guess you accidentally pressed that earlier. No, actually, it also happens at the top of each level. That was close. I'm going to do that every time I kill an enemy, so thanks a lot, dude. You just made it in my day. All, I feel like all games should have that. Yeah. I, I don't know why a honk your horn button has only been limited to racing games up until this point. It should, uh... Everyone should get a piece of that. I would pay extra for that feature. <laughs> in the most inappropriate games, too. Well, there's Alan that one Wake. glitch in, um, in Heavy Rain where he just yells Sean over and over. That's kind of the same thing. It's kind of like having a honk button in Heavy Rain. Oh, I accidentally got out of the chat. Now I have to go back to the chat. Eh. All right, I'm down to one health. Um, but yeah, these are, I think, <laughs> look at that screen shake, by the way, whenever you fire a weapon. I have no bullets for any of my weapons, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip, head to gun town. Um, <gasps> what's up? You died. <laughs> um, oh, you're, they're doing some weird things with your face in yeah, the studio we got right now. Josh in the director's chair again. It gets it real crazy. It looks like you're God presiding over this whole live stream. I get that a lot. Um, yeah, do you want to pair a character, and we'll, I'll do one more run, and then uh, and then we can play together. A little yeah. bit of co-op action. Uh, any any chat questions about nuclear thrun? Any uh, well, I just got back into the chat. Okay, welcome back. Because we weren't locked in earlier. Uh, somebody said 50 cent blood on the sand swear button is better. I'll take that, yeah. What did that I don't know about better, but... A few things are better than blood people. on the sand. One of my favorite things when I... The last time I played all the way through blood on the sand that I noticed was <laughs> when you pause the game, like during cutscenes, everything freezes, but 50 still blinks. So... <laughs> really? Yeah, you pause and like everything's totally still, everyone's frozen in time, but if you look closely... That's not creepy at all. He still automatically blinks every 10 to 15 seconds, which is a little horrific. What are you gonna do? I feel just like computer animated 50 cent is horrific in general. Yeah. When's there gonna be a Jay Z game? Hmm. I don't have an answer to that question. You wanna know something I love about uh, Lambier games in general? Is the. There, it feels like they uh, kind of all take place in. in similar or adjacent worlds. Like, yeah. There's always a shotgun, there's always a revolver, it's always a man, always a lighthouse. It's like the Lambert version of the Twilight Zone. Yeah. There's always a great feeling shotgun, and uh, that, like the disc gun from a uh, crate box, from Super Crate Box is, is in here and is almost as suicidal. You're playing as a different guy now, right? Yeah, so, so this dude's power is slow motion. Just got me out of that jam right there. And he comes with this little sword. And he has one more thing that he can do that you'll see next time I die. Uh, Which one is your favorite character? Me? I like here's the thing, I'm I'm really enough in a nuclear throne that there's still a couple I haven't used. I am I think the only person on earth who is not yet jaded about bullet time in games. I still kinda I like it. I love a little slow motion, so. I'll never knock having more time to think. Egg, exactly. Can you reflect projectiles with sword? Um, certain ones, yeah. Not all, but some I have found, if I'm remembering that right. The cool thing about having the developers in the chat with us is that if I say anything that is just totally inaccurate, they can correct me. Oh, somebody said chicken is a girl. Oh, she, my bad. So look at this mini boss guy here. Oh god. You're about to die. Do you, re do you regenerate health up look at, after? Look at that. My head got cut off. I'm dead. Nice. Um, you don't automatically regenerate health. There are health packets you can pick up. Um, but after sort of... you reach, like after you finish a level? No. Ah. No, you stay hurt. Uh, sometimes you can get perks that'll heal you. But uh, yeah, do you want to... Uh... Brian Fetto wants to know... Nick, will Nuclear Throne satisfy fans of Alan Wake? Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, it's roughly the same game, right? Yeah, um, it's pretty much exactly the it's same. It's a lot like Alan Wake, I think, and some, some of the, some pretty obvious <coughs> things. There's lighting, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, there's your controller. So it's if I suck now, I get to blame it on the gamepad, right? Oh uh, yeah, totally. You can be, 
a PC keyboard mouse Elitas now. Excellent. If you just for this game like. though. Just for this game. And we are putting the computer down. So if you have questions, hopefully you've my beer can yeah. answer them. Um, let's see. So I think you can go ahead and pick character right now. Um, Ooh. I wonder what happens if Steroids. I'm the chicken. Hmm. I wonder if I can do slow motion when we're both playing. Pop, pop. So pop, pop is, is young Venus's ability that lets you shoot twice. Um, Melting. This is hard. This Crystal shield is cool. It freezes you in place, and, but makes you invulnerable in that time. So if you ever freak out and you're just like, ah, I can't think, it's good for that. I'm gonna do... Look at that buff guy. I'm gonna do, wait, where did Malting go? I'm gonna do this. Alrighty, cool. So I, I actually have no idea how the co-op in this game works. Like, I wonder what happens if one of us goes off screen. Does it zoom out? We will learn Definitely. together. Look at you, you're like a little, <laughs> I, I hesitate to make the comparison, but you're kind of a plants versus zombies zombie, a little bit. Yeah, or a plant. I absolutely am. Oh gosh. Chill. No. Uh, you want a grenade launcher? We can be the grenade launcher buds. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, so press, what is it, you press X? There you go. So we both have grenade launchers right now, which is terrifying, because Vlambeer strike me as the type who would keep friendly fire on. And also, Boom. look at that, you're destroying the level a little bit. Nice. Maybe there's hidden pockets in here. Hidden zones. All right, that didn't hurt you. That's cool. So whenever you kill the last enemy, a black hole appears, and you, I think you blew yourself up. Wow! Let's see if we can't find a, find a way to bring you back Oops. to life. Um, no, nah, you're just like regular wow. ass dead. Uh, I'm gonna hop out, because you deserve another shot at life. Don't, don't take pity on me. I don't deserve it. Poor console plebe with your controller. I think it controls okay. Why are there all these grenade launchers? We're not ready. Clearly, we've demonstrated. <laughs> we can't handle the responsibility. Oh, crap. You like that slow motion? I barely noticed it. Oh, because it doesn't go into effect for me, obviously. Hmm, but does it go into effect for enemy bullets? Because that seems important. I don't think so. Although if it doesn't, then what would be the purpose of right. it? just what slows it down do? your bullets. Yeah, that doesn't seem very <laughs> useful. Uh, you're almost out of ammo. You got 19 shots. Here, get back, I'll, I'll blow oh, this God. thing up. Oh God, no, kill that thing. Ah, there we go. Oh, I just got maggoted. Forgot I don't have unlimited bullets. I shouldn't have taken those bullets, I'm sorry. Always keep one eye on your ammo. See, I didn't pay attention to the instructions on screen. Cool tips. Nicely done. Oh, look at that, you got bullets. Let's get in there and chop. Okay. So, green bullets okay. I can slice up and like destroy them, but red bullets can get reflected. I'm gonna stop here fighting everyone in slow motion for forever. Oh, I got hego bullets. Oh! All right, hold on. I'm gonna, ah, I'm gonna blow this fool up. No! Look at oh, that's a bunch of bullets. Oh, I died. So it seems like there's almost like a bubble of slow motion around me. And when the bullets get close, they slow down. Oh, there you go, That's a, yeah. That's not a normal scorpion. No, He's, I don't think it is. He is tough. Quite an astute observation. Oh, I hurt myself. But I did kill the scorpion. Wait, can I grab the, oh, I grabbed the health before I died and then came back to life. So that's oh, another nice. cool perk of the chicken, I guess. Um, if while you're running around like a chicken with her head cut off and you pick up a health packet, oh, you can come yeah, back to life. Oh yeah, it's kind of like, uh, I forget the name of it. Let's see. Enemies touching you take damage. Recycled land lets you get bullets back. Shotgun fingers, can't read it. I'm gonna get this one because I like the idea of bolts homing in on people. So there's a little bit of a, ooh, the disc gun. There's a little bit of auto-aim, actually. Um, oh god, oh I man. I feel like your power-up is way better than mine. <laughs> what was yours, uh, shooting twice? Um, the explosive mm. 
Yeah. Whatever that is, yeah. Um, do you want like a roll dodge or do you want a, a shield or? I want pop pop. All right, <laughs> then young Venus it is. So you want to be this one right here. Yeah. So we'll let you move over to that. Oh yeah. Cool, and I'll be this buff dude, because look how buff he is. He's, he's roided as all get out. Look at him, look how swole he is. Stay safe. No, no. God, this game is so fast paced. You're doing okay though. You only got hit. I'm, ge twice, I'm getting. Like, uh, I'm getting the hang of it. Meanwhile, I was being cowardly. Oh yeah, I want that shotgun. <laughs> oh yeah. You are understanding the allure. Shotgun is consistently the most useful weapon. In Once this you're game. you're sniping, there's no need in, for anything else. In video games. Yes. It's actually not true, but. Alrighty. I want it to be true. I just like using it so dang much. How do you feel, Tara, about the amount of screen shake in this game? There's a lot of screen shake. It kind of makes it hard to uh, keep track of your character. Huh. See, I have a much less nuanced opinion of it, which is that screen shake owns and every game needs to have as much of it as possible. I have, it does up the intensity. It certainly does. Um, I was actually... Uh, I think it was Rami who was talking on Twitter recently about how the fans of Lambier who run the Nuclear Throne wiki have added Screen Shake to the wiki. So if you right click, <laughs> that's awesome. There's like a bullet sound and the whole uh, Wikipedia or the whole wiki page shakes, which is pretty good. Look at me, I'm still alive. Throne butt. Select one mutation. There's an ability called uh, Throne butt. Boiling veins. We're gonna. I want Throne butt. You I don't can know have Throne butt. It's for Venus. Young, young Venus only. I'm gonna pick the one that makes me live longer. All right, I'm gonna. Oh god. Jesus. This is like, the, this, is... this is the early game too. Like. Oh no! Did I die? I think you may have died. <laughs> um. Oh Wait, god. it is not hard to die in this game. No, ma'am. Um, like the furthest I ever got, I think, was I got just past the second major boss encounter where it was just this big um, lumbering monster in the middle of the screen that just shot out like actual bullet hell shmup style patterns of bullets at me. It was huh. cruel and unusual. Do you always start in the same level? Mm -hmm. But it's randomly generated, so it's a little different each time. I'm going to be this roll dodge guy. So he can do roll and dodge. Oh, I didn't choose a character. Uh oh, who are you? Oh, You're the buff guy, but he's got spandex on. How'd you manage that? I don't know. Uh oh. So his whole thing is that he can. You're about to die. He can oh, swap I weapons. I did um, die. <laughs> without swapping weapons. So, like, one trigger does one weapon, the other trigger does the other. I guess I'm on like random respawn right now. I'm a different character now. I think you're the same guy, just plus clothes. Oh. Why do I look like I'm made of meat? Because he's super buff, dude. He's swole. It's all get out. That's not. It's not a thing. It is. It's not a thing that people say. Swole is all get out. They don't say that in, in Tejas. No. I like this co-op, man. Is, yeah, it's, I feel like this game should be played co-op. Totally. It's, I was a little... Because it's just so ridiculous. I was a little, honestly, unsure because... I don't know. It, it works, I think, in, in a way that a lot of games don't necessarily because... I don't know. Shared screen co-op games can be stressful. Um, yeah, but this is not like... There's pretty much a clear direction you're yeah. going in. So you don't have to, like wander too far. Totally. And we're always standing in, in roughly the same zone, so we're not like... And the camera's pulled out far back enough that it's like, I don't know, it feels comfortable. And that's really the only reason I worry about co-op games is when they don't feel comfortable. Uh-oh. Uh Although it is kind of easy to screw somebody up in this game, because if you just like run into battle, you're pretty much going to die. 
Oh, I lost so much health so quickly. All right. Uh, gotta see what that booty is. Gotta see what that booty is. Look at the butt, he's got a little purple butt. Click on that butt. It's so pixelated. Can well, barely see what it is. Censored. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna drink no! this beer. Oh God, don't let me carry this game. I will surely it. die. You got it. You got one whole health. All you have to do is not get hit. That's not going to happen. There's health. Where? Uh, no! <laughs> right, right inside the maggot. So is the health in the red boxes? Oh no, it's the heart ones. The heart one. ones, okay. yeah. Ooh, mama. It's rough out here. Do you want to change characters again, actually? Yeah. Cool. Is there a random function that lets me play a random character? Yes, there is. Let's just do they that. They do have that. Let's get that random way I can over here. Them all. Let's see who we got. You're the chicken, I'm the buff daddy. Uh, let me get the screwdriver real quick. So I've got, oh, maggots went everywhere. I'm really worried about that grenade launcher. Do you want it? Yeah, I want it. <laughs> Look, he's gone. See, grenade launcher came in handy. It's. Certainly did. I'm gonna smoke the monster out <laughs> and <laughs> accidentally kill myself in yeah. the process. But you're still semi alive. You're just bleeding. Nope, not me. anymore. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, golly. this game. It's We're, rough, bro. I'm almost embarrassed that the developers are watching us play this right now. I think they've seen worse. I have, I mean, no promises. I don't know, man. The thing is, this is your first time playing, so you have Not, nothing to feel well, bad I about. Well, I played it very briefly. ID3. Four packs. Something. Some sort of video game. They all run together. True. All right, let's unleash a swarm of maggots, and let's never touch a grenade launcher again. How's that sound? No, the grenade, la the grenade launcher was good. The grenade launcher. I killed launcher. that one guy. Yeah, at the cost of it's, your yeah, life. Yeah, it's too easy to accidentally kill yourself. You were getting into it. Oh, I just died. All right. I don't know if melee weapons are the best choice for this game. Here. Uh-oh. Do you want to uh, check the chat? Yeah. I'll take your chicken sword. Am I even allowed to touch the chicken sword? It's yours. I bequeath it. Thank you. Knight me. Ugh. See what's going on in the chat. I don't know, but I'm out here killing maggots, getting experience, trying to do me. Mm. Oh, Vlambeer says it's available right now in early access for $12.99. That's a steal. What? Oh, I accidentally hit back. No. Ah. So this is Why your first time. So hard? playing Nuclear Throne and using a computer. Clearly. Ah! I got hurt. I love the way giant weapons look sheathed on your character. Somebody said we should play Whistleblower, the prequel to Outlast. Nope! I saw that that went on sale today, watched about three seconds of the trailer, and was like, that's all right. I am so down to play. For real? Yeah. That would be a fun stream because I would be crying and you would be fine. And that would be the Are whole Are you stream. not into scary games? No. Nope. Perfect. Maybe next week. I liked whenever Anthony and Adam did their uh, their Outlast streams in the dark. <laughs> that sounds so I not feel fun. Like, oh. That game was yucky, man. I feel man. like we need to honor that. <laughs> honor the legacy? By yes. spooking ourselves? And I don't know, I I'll have bad dreams and stuff. That doesn't sound like, I don't think I'm ready. So you are a horror game fan then? Uh, I got yes. killed. Yes. I, I, I like horror games, I like horror movies. I don't mind being scared at all. Gosh. You know what I mind? Hmm. Being scared at all. It doesn't <laughs> sound like a good time. Um, the only thing I don't like is 
is games and movies that have like rely on like startling horror. jump scares. Yeah, I hate jump scares. You know what's weird is I'm kind of sometimes okay with jump scares. Sometimes. I feel like in games it's better. In movies, I hate it. I see one of my favorite movies is a movie called Drag Me to Hell by Sam Raimi. I've seen that. Love it. I hate that movie. You hate it? <laughs> a lot of people hate it. I, I love and hate it. I like it, but I hate that I felt like it was trying to take itself so seriously. No, it's a it's a good it's the guy who did Evil Dead. I know. A, I think I just had bad expectations going into yeah, it. Also, I mean, I've never seen Evil Dead. I've I took people to um, go see uh, Drag Me to Hell without warning them ahead of time that it was a joke, uh -huh. and that was a huge mistake because they were like, "That was stupid." I'm like, "Yeah, I know." That Wasn't was it great? my reaction, yeah. and my friend was like, "That was amazing." He's a huge Sam Raimi fan. Yeah. Because it's not stupid on accident, and I think that's an imp it, that kind of changes how you look at it when you. I don't realize. know, man. The part with the goat, it's just like, come on. You should watch come the. Come on, uh, guys. Come on. The unrated version, where she like vomits blood, in a beam out of her. Like, what is it in the in the original There's movie? It's like a nosebleed, and then it shoots out of her nose all over the bank. In the, oh in yeah, the, the that was that that because that's the first like weird scene in the movie. Yeah. When it got to that point, I was like, what am I in for? This is weird. But I like the tone of the whole movie. Yeah. Like, I think it's filmed well. Oh my god. So you remember how she sacrifices her cat to try to like get rid of the curse or whatever? Mm -hmm. In the unrated version, there's this shot that's just from the cat's perspective, like looking up at her with a giant knife and she's just stabbing towards the camera and like a cartoonish amount of blood is shooting up into her face. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. That's but weird. So what a lovely film. There's a lot of classic horror movies I haven't seen. You know what my favorite horror movie of all time is? Rosemary's Baby. Have you ever seen that? Nah. It's so freaking good. You're gonna it's so good. Tune in for that, like there's like an NBC miniseries or something of Rosemary's Dude, Baby. Dude, screw that. Yeah. No. That makes me angry. I mean, maybe it's good. I don't know. It doesn't look good based on the previews. The original is such a classic, it's hard to even replicate. And it's like a four-part miniseries that they're doing with Zoe Saldana, who I also can't take seriously in a horror role, although I do like her as an actress. Hmm. I showed that I showed a bunch of people Rosemary's Baby for the first time the other day, and everyone loved it because it's amazing. I am wasting. Probably one of my top five films of all time. Jeez, maybe I should see it. You should definitely see it. Oh my god, you cannot put down the keyboard no, and drink a sip of beer. No, not for even a second. Even when you're loading into a level. I was like, oh, this will be <laughs> fine. And then I, one second later, I have lost half my health, more than half my health, fighting some sort of terrible scorpion. Poltergeist. Oh, and a mini bus came out from the nook that I was hiding in. You I watched Pol some people were talking about poltergeist being really scary. I remember watching that when I was a teenager and not being... Like, it was a good movie, but I didn't think it was crazy scary. You know what did scare the crap out of me, because I saw it as a kid, was um, The Exorcist. Mm. You've seen that, right? I have not. Come on, Keep Tara. forgetting you're 12. I'm 12. The Exorcist is a damn good movie. I have not seen Suspiria. I've heard of that. I should watch that. It sounds... It, I just Googled it and it looks like something that I should watch. Suspiria? Yeah, it's a horror movie. Have you seen Disturbia? Is that the one with the. Um, Transformers what's that kid's Boy? Name? Yeah. Trans yeah, you know, Transformers Boy is his what's name. What's his name? Oh, the golly. The guy from Holes. Someone's gonna. Wait, Why can't Holes. I? It's on the tip of my tongue. I, I know this guy so bad because I, I got, hate him. What is it? Holes Boy. I got Holes. I got Boy Holes on the tip of my tongue. Shia LaBeouf. Yes. That's it. Such a unique name. Um, you know what? My friend was telling me about uh, that movie Insidious, mm, which yeah. apparently is like, he says it's the scariest horror movie he's ever seen, and he's really into horror movies, but he also hadn't seen Rosemary's Baby, so can I trust his opinion? Probably not. But I remember seeing the trailer for Insidious, and there's this creepy thing wearing a mask, and just the trailer alone was more terrifying than most horror movies hmm. I've seen, so. Yeah, there's. Oh no, what happened? Nope. Steam Early Access happened. I'm going to blame this on Microsoft Windows yes. and Bill Gates. Yeah. Early Access games are all notoriously stable, but Windows is garby. So, I don't know, man. Do you Can wanna... you 
We can hop back in for one last one last round. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, we were gonna. Well, we we're gonna end this in about ten minutes anyway. Yeah. You wanna hop hop back into co-op? See yeah. how far we can make it. Let's try like a super careful run. How does that sound? Like we're just gonna be real cautious. We'll leave the grenade launchers where we found them. Okay. And we'll just we'll be very careful. How does that sound? It sounds like a great idea. <laughs> can we do it? <laughs> Who knows. Um, I'm going to pick this very conservative character who turns into a giant crystal. And let me get the co-op going. I want to play somebody I haven't played yet. I'm also going to uh, turn it up out here in the studio because I want you to hear a little bit of the music. Because that to me is such a crucial element of this experience. I'm going to do the crystal. Double crystal. Oh, you're the crystal too? No! no now fine. I won't be able to. Oh, okay. Wait. You're not the crystal. Maybe we can't both. Yeah. You are some sort of buff mutant man. Whoa! Do you like that oomph? It is extremely satisfying, I must say. Ah! Hold on. All right, wait, 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 wait. Calm down. Calm down. No! I will not calm oh, down. Oh, I just took a bullet for you. Oh. Yeah, it's a little tough to aim with the gamepad. Uh, <gasps> oh god, I forgot those things were things! Shoot them all. So much for a very careful run. I think I just died. You know what? I forgot we were gonna do that careful run thing. <laughs> yeah. Let's start it again. That was the game. So this but is actually the third title. Originally the game character. was called Careful oh, Run. Oh god. Wait, yeah, let's pick another character. Let's take this serious. We can do this. We're gonna make it out of the desert. <laughs> I swear to gosh. Okay. All right, Crystal. Okay, so you're gonna be the Crystal. I want to be... I want to be the Chicken. All right. I also I keep forgetting to use my special power. I gotta remember to do that. Whoa, I'm like a golden Crystal. Look at me. All okay, right, let's get I'm you a real careful. gun. You deserve a real gun. Machine there gun, go. there we go. That's Problem the solved. realest gun. <gasps> All right. Alrighty, we haven't gotten hurt yet. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it is. I like your technique, which is get out of the way of bullets. Yeah. I'm into that. It's, it's a solid technique, I feel. It seems to be paying off. Some high level play here. Oh god. Let's go hide. Oh, uh, what is happening? I accidentally crashed into that thing. It's okay, it's alright. You only took one damage. You can hold that thing down and just shoot like crazy. I want to get this thing that's shooting things at us. All right, look, we got him surrounded. All right, next health pack you get. Oh, oh what if there's one in there? We'll never know. Okay. You want this full health thing? We both leveled up, so you can click yeah, this one to get full health. health. I want full health. And let's do weaker enemies, too. Huh, it didn't, it didn't, give me it didn't trigger yours. I okay. think you have to do it before... Because I clicked to activate mine. Yeah, maybe. Ah, yeah, whatever. Early access. Oh, I'm empty. And I died! It's okay. Still made it longer than some of my previous rounds. You did. I'm going to take your guns away. I'm going to murder this man with them. Mm. This has got to be the best sounding game I've played this year. I need a gun! Oh my gosh, I am out of ammunition. Don't you have full health? I guess. Don't screw this up, Nick. I don't have any weapons. I believe in you! Uh. What's your special power? Um, that. <laughs> Nice. I need more ammo. There's some ammo. Ah! I gotta get that ammo. Get the ammo. Oh, oh God, there's more no, bad guys! No. What a horrible place to go. 
Golly, that was bad. It looks like if you just touch the scorpions, they will just kill you outright. I mean, there's so many bullets flying. Yeah. Who really knows what wow, happened? Wow, this game is really intense. I feel like I just played 20 games, actually, because yeah. we kind of did. Yeah, we we it. probably <laughs> did, but it's, it is the good kind of exhausting. I yes. Think. It is. Um, thank you guys for watching us play this game. Uh, yeah. Like they said, it is available on Steam Early Access now for $12.99. It's also coming to a bunch of other platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it was on PC, Mac, and Linux, as well as... PS3, PS Vita, and PS4. Yeah, it so, will end up there, and yeah. uh, I think that, again, the Vita is gonna be the place to play it for me. Like, it's just... Yeah, I thought that it just seems make, like a, a good platform for this Make your train game. ride so nice and stressful. Yeah, you know? so um, we're gonna try to do this live stream thing every week, so mm -hmm. if, if you guys have a game that you want us to play next time, uh, let us know. Yeah. Uh, tweet at us, at Rev3Games. Yep. You can also follow me, I am Tara Longest on Twitter, and he is Babylonian. Yep. And we are out, guys. Yeah, we're gonna go drink maybe a second beer. Two Cheers. beers in one day? I know, it's crazy talk. It's craziness. All right, see ya.